In this video, I would like to do another example free body diagram. In this one, we will have um, two books that are stacked on a table. Um, and additionally, I want to use the free body diagram to rank the forces. Okay, so um, what does the situation look like? Well, I'm going to start with just a sketch. I think that's a good place to start with a lot of these problems. So let's call the bottom book A. And then I'll have the book on top be a little bit smaller. I'll call that B. Okay, so um, I want to draw free body diagrams for each of the two books. So I want to draw one for A, and I want to draw one for B. Okay, and I like to always start with whatever forces are easiest. So looking at my diagram, I made A larger than B, which means that it's going to be heavier. I'm assuming that the book that looks larger weighs more. So there's going to be a gravitational force on A by the Earth, and there's going to be a slightly smaller gravitational force on B by the Earth. Okay. Um, so at this point, we have to figure out what else we know. Well, um, looking at the two books, one looks like it's in a simpler situation than the other. I think B looks like it's a little bit simpler because it's on top. So we already did a um, diagram for a book sitting on a table, and that's basically the situation that B is in. So B has a weight, and B is going to also have a normal force on B by A that is keeping it from moving. So by Newton's second law, that normal force must be there, and it must be the same size as the gravitational force. Okay. Well, if B is um, experiencing a force from A, then B must also be exerting a force on A. Um, they have to be equal and opposite by Newton's third law. So um, I need to draw a force that is downwards and the same length as NBA, uh, but this one is going to be NAB. Okay, so there's a normal force on A by B. Um, finally, we know A is not moving, and so A must be in equilibrium. It must have no net force. So there must be some other upwards force that's big enough to cancel both the weight of A and also the normal force um, from B pushing down on A. And that is going to be a normal force on A by the table. Okay, um, So that will be as large as the other two forces on A put together. Okay, so I want to stop and consider the diagrams um, again uh, in order to see some patterns. So again, if I consider um, the free body diagram for A, all the forces are exerted on A. So all those first subscripts need to match. Meanwhile, for B, all the forces are exerted on B. Um, so that is good. That's a nice check. Um, also, I know that NAB and NBA are Newton's third law pairs. Okay, so um, by Newton's third law, NAB and NBA are the same magnitude. Okay, um, for book B, by Newton's second law, I know that NBA equals GBE. Okay, so notice how the labels help here. We have three different normal forces and two gravitational forces. If we weren't being careful about labels, it could be really confusing which forces we were talking about. Um, okay, so notice that um, we use both Newton's third law and Newton's second law to be able to rank these forces. Um, on an exam, I'm going to ask you to know the difference between them. So if I ask you for a Newton's third law pair and you give me two forces that are the same size by Newton's second law, that is incorrect and you will not get the points for it. Um, okay, so what other forces can I rank? Well, I know that A is heavier than B. So um, just by the way that I drew the problem, I know that GAE is bigger than GBE. Okay, and then the only other force is NAT. And I know that the normal force on A by the table is equal to the normal force on A by B plus the gravitational force on A by the Earth. So NAT must be bigger than both of those put together. Um, remember, if I don't put any um, vector symbols, these are all just magnitudes. Okay, so now I can do the final ranking. I know NAT is the biggest um, because it's um, NAB and GAE together. So it's bigger than, um, let's see, GAE. And I know that GAE is bigger than GBE. But I know GBE is the same size as NBA and NAB. Okay, so um, this is the complete ranking of the five forces that are present in this problem.